Hi, this is Catherine Meredith, Canadian art specialist and Montreal representative with some of my picks from Callie Abbott's February online auctions. There are some really beautiful etchings in the Canada Abroad and Works on Paper sessions depicting both figurative and abstract subjects. I cannot stress enough how meticulous the etching technique is. I took a printmaking class in college, so I am lucky enough to have learned this firsthand. First, the image is etched into a copper plate using a little needle, so there is no eraser. And then it's soaked in acid to make the design more sunken into the plate so that it can grab onto the ink. Then you have to apply the ink evenly with no smudging and run it through a printing press over and over. Although the category of prints implies that they are multiples of an image and it's sometimes assumed they are easily mass produced, this reputation really does not apply to etchings. Often the total edition number is quite low for etchings because they take so much time to produce. Historical photography is a very interesting category of art to include in your collection because not only is it beautiful, but it also serves as a document in social history and in the history of photography, which evolved quite steadily in the 20th century from documentation purposes only into an art form. Marion Post Wilcox Jitterbugging on a Saturday night and Arnold Newman's portraits of George O'Keefe and Max Ernst are examples of this evolution in photography. I love Harold Town's stretch blue on gray because I think it's the perfect mix between retro and contemporary style. It is fun and colorful but not too overpowering. It's also a pretty large print so it is a great statement piece. Echo by Ivan Ayer is another example of the impressive etching technique, and it is an example of how a print is a much more affordable way to own an artist's work. Ayer is known for these quasi-abstract, ambiguous, figurative, and still-life images, and his painting versions sell for well over 50000 But here we have the same type of subject, and the plate was etched by the artist himself, estimated at only three to four hundred dollars. So please take a look through the three auction sessions and you might surprise yourself at what you like. It always happens to me. There is a really wide variety of two-dimensional and three-dimensional artworks available this time and across all price ranges. Enjoy!